So flashing my car to IE stage two high torque. I just want to show you a couple things for the setup. First thing you want to do is with the car off, but with the ignition on, you're going to charge it using a, a car charger. I have it set to 12 volts low. It's like a trickle charge, about 1.2 amps. Uh, you need this set up so that the voltage doesn't drop below the recommended level uh, for programming, which they uh, they say could brick the ECU, and you want to avoid that, uh, obviously. So back in the car, I got the power link cable plugged into the OBD2 port, plugged into the laptop, and then using their flash wizard, first thing you want to do, you can verify the, the battery voltage. Going to read codes, you click refresh on that. It's going to tell if you got any uh, outstanding codes in your readiness levels, but also shows you your battery voltage level. You want to make sure that stays above 12. And from there, so we can back out of there, we can go to uh, programming. We can actually tune it. Uh, follow the instructions as it says. Again, you're going to need to hook it up to a charger. You have to have the hood open on 2019 and newer. They give you a warning about bricking your ECU and then having to ship it to them. So that's why the battery charger is important. Plugging in the power link, turning the ignition to on, which on the push starts, it's just the one click. Don't have the engine running. Make sure your key is in the car at all times. Then it does a couple of checks. It'll identify the car and your current program that you're running. So I had this flashback to stock for, an ins for inspection purposes. So one thing to note that with the Stage 2 software, it does not allow for the readiness of, I believe, the, uh, the catalyst system. So I guess that's why the check engine light doesn't come on. I don't have a check engine light for my O2 sensor when I run stock because I have uh, a spacer on it. I'm running a CTS downpipe. For some reason, the cat position is after the O2 sensors. They didn't have it in that complex uh, area right after the turbo. So I do have a cat on the car. I just had to run a spacer to not throw a code for the secondary O2. All right, so from here, we're gonna select what tune we want. And I plan on doing high pressure fuel pump later with the flex tune when that comes out. But for now, we're just going to go to stage two high torque. Select the 93 octane file, which is what I want to run. You can optionally run the 91s. And it looks like they have the crackle tune that runs only in sport mode, but that's not my thing. So we're just going to go with the 93 octane. says it's ready to flash the car. All we do is click flash. Another thing to note is it does show that battery voltage level down there. So you want to make sure again that stays over 12. So for the stage 2 file it shows a warning that you have to have some supporting mods. So it says it requires you to run 93 octane you need a DSG tune or the upgraded clutch, which I have. I have the uh, South Bend Stage 3. Uh, and you need a downpipe intake and intercooler. So I have those. It says meet requirements. It goes through the... It's saying, okay, you've already purchased this. You don't need to buy any more credits. Well, actually, it's saying I need to buy zero credits. So, okay, I'll purchase zero credits. Downloading the, the tune. And this takes several minutes. I'll end up speeding up this video. It's 
clearing codes, prepping the car for the flash. Your lights in the car will freak out periodically as things just went off and came back on. All of this is normal. And back here, it is now writing, writing and validating the steps of the file. This is the scary part where it erases. So this will take a few minutes. I'm going to end up speeding up this video. All right, and there we have it. So the whole flash process took about 20 minutes. Uh, you can see the battery voltage maintained at 12.1 volts the entire time. Uh, and it gives you a scary looking message at the end, but it is not. Uh, it's just saying that if you wanna do this, you have to start the whole process again if you have any other flashes you wanna make. So click finish, and that was it. Uh, around the 90% mark, the, the dash lights and everything will, will start freaking out again, but that's nothing to be worried about. It's just enabling all the communication, so you get the lights from that. Once done, you just disconnect the cable and then go unhook the battery tender. Unplugging from the power source first. And then you can disconnect the clamps. So as you can see, that's all there is to it. If it runs into any errors, let it recover itself. Do any firmware updates if it says the cable needs it. Check back periodically for any updated tunes. And if you follow all these steps, you shouldn't run into any issues. Next up, just waiting on the, the flex fuel tune uh, for my model year. Thanks, IE.